come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the continuing cinematic adventures of the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. That's coming a new at one. you. Oh. All three just... of us just perked up. Yeah, because yeah. that, was, oh. that was new to us, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love a cinematic adventure. <laughs> yeah, right? Mm-hmm. As we go exploring in yeah. the dark and twisted frontiers of... Okay. Uh, these the, are the, the dark and internet... twisted small towns of Massachusetts. <laughs> right. <laughs> these are the internet radio superstars. Michaela, Hotel Witch. <laughs> Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Colin. We're back. We're back. Back to the picks. Yeah. Yes. 2024. Mm. 2024. Mm. We're starting it off. Colin, what did you pick tonight? Uh, I picked a movie that I guess was originally made in England under okay. the title City of the Dead, mm-hmm. uh, but we got it here as Horror Hotel. Okay. okay. So we, for we, years- got to change your name. In my lifetime, it has been Horror Hotel until recently. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Now it's officially just been changed to the City of the Dead. You want to mm-hmm. get it? It's City of the Dead. Limited okay. edition. Okay. Yep. From the year 1960. Uh, if, a black and white yeah. affair. Yes. Yes. If, and, if I'm um, being honest, I don't like either title. Okay. Neither are good. This no. is a problem. Or accurate. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know, like- Trying to think, Raven's Inn would have been fine. Like some something to do with yeah, the I, witch. I so I've watched this movie a number of times, and every time I tell my husband we're gonna watch it, I tell him we're gonna watch City of the Dead. He's like, Oh, we've seen that. I'm like, We go over this every year. Yes, you have. And like, I know it's, it's a generic a title, title. Oh, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Generic. because I'm sure he's thinking it's a George Romero movie. Yep. He hears of yeah. the yeah. dead, and he thinks we're yeah. watching a George Romero movie. You know, but this predates that. Yeah, so I exactly. guess. But yeah, I think yeah. you have the idea that the it's a yeah. it's a zombie movie. Mm-hmm. You know, horror hotel uh, doesn't really sell it well either. Is no. it more well, accurate? It sounds well, goofy. Closer. Well, and closer. I think I think part of the problem stems from I don't think they fully even understand the lore of the movie that they're making. Because there's moments in this movie where they're like, on, you know, Candlemas Eve, the dead come to life. Do they? Because we never see that happen. And like we do. They're all no, they're all dead. The, yeah, yeah, they're, they're all, dead. all from the original. But they're all always burning. there. Yeah, so it's yeah. a city of the dead. Yeah. Right, but it doesn't happen on these nights. They're just always there. It's technically a village of the dead. Yeah. Yeah. It is yep. a village of the dead. That Which, might have been better. That, I was no, like, because you'd still think it's a zombie movie. Yeah. Yeah, but Village, village. of the Witch. Yeah. <laughs> village of the Witch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. So it's a witchcraft better. movie. Let's call it Whitewood. Yeah. White, oh, Whitewood. 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 Yeah. Take a shot every time they say Whitewood, Whitewood or Nan Barlow. Like they say her full name like it's one name. Nan Barlow, Nan Barlow, Nan Barlow. Are you going to Whitewood? I'm going to Whitewood. Every time <laughs> I watch this Whitewood, with my Nan husband, Barlow? we spend the next few days going around and be like, Are you going to Whitewood? I will be going to Whitewood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes yeah, yeah, exactly. Through the fog yes. down the street. Yes, through the three foot deep <laughs> fog they throughout this entire oh, yeah. Yeah. atmosphere. For yes. some reason, I thought it was Witchwood. <laughs> That'd be cool. Which yeah. would yeah. actually be no. okay? Another better title. Yeah. Which, yeah. Would. Which would? That sounds like a who's on first. Maybe yeah. that's the that might. You ever see a movie called Virgin Witch? No. Okay, I'm no. Not no. the only person in that. Believe it or not, we yeah. haven't. Okay, Shocking, so <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I haven't even done my due diligence, and I hope you're googling something. Director's name. It's John. Llewellyn Moxie. Moxie. Okay, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you very Moxie, much, yeah. uh, Michaela. There, Captain mm-hmm. Google. Yes. Um, his career started with this now, movie. This does is his he have first. Moxie. That's yeah. the question. <laughs> does he? Well, we'll tell you at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So this was his first movie, and then he went on to do a lot of like TV mm-hmm. uh, episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the historical things that's of interest of this movie, it says it's a Vulcan production. Yes. yes. Uh, but Vulcan Productions is uh, Milton Sabotsky, mm-hmm. who was a New York guy, moved to England, and then with his uh, producing partner, um, Max... Did I say this wrong? Or is it no, no, you're right. Milton, Milton Sabotsky. Milton Sabotsky, Max yeah. Rosenberg. Max, Max Rosenberg, thank okay. you, I should know this. They yes. formed Amicus Pictures. Oh, they did yes. Amicus. Oh, okay. okay, we know Amicus. We've, they are Amicus we've Pictures. We've talked about Amicus, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, who were basically the contemporaries of Hammer Film mm-hmm. in England at the time. So this is like unofficially, I guess, like the first Amicus movie. Okay. Right, okay. Uh, stars Christopher Lee. Mm-hmm. Um... 
Because very pay? debonair, Christopher Lee. Yes, yeah. doing an American accent yeah. this time. I don't think I've ever heard him do an no. American accent before. This is a first for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's got a good voice, even in, with an American accent. It yeah. works. Well, because yeah. it, it still has that like transatlantic. Sound. Yeah, exactly. It still works. Yeah, but yeah. he's a he's a professor, Professor Alan Driscoll. At, yeah, at a college, I a mean, witchcraft professor, seemingly. Yeah, Christopher yeah. Lee should just always be a professor right right <laughs> like if he's not being dracula he should be a professor right or, or, a, wizard. or a james yeah. bond villain yep yeah yeah, yeah. with three nipples <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't need him to have Scar- three nipples <laughs> but okay <laughs> but i'm okay with it <laughs> um it's fine that is weird that's yep. the roger moore era for you yep. um <laughs> okay so this is a uh so you, you, you're listening to this maybe you've, you've seen it Maybe it was called Horror Hotel. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're like, I've heard of a movie called City of the Dead. I thought yeah. it was zombies. Not to be confused with Hotel Hell, which right. we also did on this show. Right. Or Horror um, Express. Yes. Which yeah. also has yeah. Christopher Lee in yeah. it. Right. Yeah. Um, or The Witch. <laughs> <laughs> or any of the dead movie. Yeah. Any. But it's a witchcraft movie. It is. It's, um, and it's like a... It's like a New England witchcraft movie specifically, mm-hmm. which yeah. is a vibe. Which we love. Yeah. And it's like a modern, I guess for 1960, right? Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's a modern look at like witchcraft. This is a thing that like, uh, you know, there's this, a handful of movies from this time period, which I was trying to figure out if it started with like, is it Curse of the Demon? Have you ever seen, I have not seen that. that one? Uh, I was uh, casting the runes or night of the demon. I think it mm-hmm. was known here. And then there, there becomes like this, like, um, th- like the devil is still among us. Mm-hmm. Like, even yeah. though this is like old, you know, an old superstition or whatever, it's like modern people realizing mm-hmm. that ancient witchcraft is still being practiced mm-hmm. today. And that goes mm-hmm. all the way through like, uh, what do we say? Burn witch burn. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah. Rosemary's yeah. baby, yep. the omen. I mean, like right. there's a the, bunch yeah, of them. You find that, out it's still around. Mm-hmm. Even if yeah. they were doing that, uh, again, even in the 1960, they were doing that. It's like that's I think this, thing of witch. But I think this is when it started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's the idea because uh, even when, I, years ago, we watched Blackula on this mm-hmm. show. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And, uh, but Watch Blackula, Blackula, it's like one of the first movies that kind of took like vampires into the modern day. And it was awesome. And <laughs> these was. movies yeah. are taking witchcraft into the yes. modern day. I mean, this is like a turning point somehow mm-hmm. in like the culture that this <laughs> this movie actually has a lot of influence that I feel like doesn't get attributed to it. Like, did I don't know what you read up on in your research, Colin, but this was originally supposed to be a TV pilot with Boris Karloff. It got made into a movie. Yeah. So it does kind of have TV pilot energy. It does. Yeah. yeah. It really does. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, but the beginning of Dragula has a quote from Christopher Lee in this uh, that's movie. That's what I looked yes. at Colin for. Yeah. I'm just like, wait, that's I know Dragula. that That's Dragula. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which quote was that? Fear, uh, superstition. Uh, from the very beginning yeah. of the song, it's, yeah. the, mm-hmm. it's Christopher yeah, yeah. Lee in, uh, yeah. in City of the Dead. Yeah, fear, mm-hmm. superstition, and uh, what's the last word? I know you're going to hum a few bars. <laughs> well, uh, the Misfits have a song called Horror Hotel. Yes. I think uh, there Didn't is. Iron Maiden have it clips in a music video, I think. Yeah. Someone did. Bring Your Daughter yeah. to the Slaughter, yes. I think. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like. It's, out, it's around. Yeah. It played on. This was one of those, I think, uh, you know, public domain titles that would show up on late night, right. you know, horror movie hosted, you know, show, TV shows. Uh, it would usually be on the 24 pack of horror movies, uh, you know, but it was under the title Horror Hotel. Right. So, like, you jealousy. may have seen this. Superstition, fear and jealousy. Fear yeah. and jealousy. That's right. Comes from this movie. So there mm-hmm. you yeah. go. We, we nailed it down. Um, so there's a couple things that it, you know, we're, we're talking about, like, influences. But there's some things that this movie does that are kind of. They're not unique to the movie, but right. they all happen in the same year of 1960 in other movies. So it's like, it's how could year, it be yeah. ripping them off if it happened the same year? And so for some of them, I guess we're going to have to say we're going to spoil mm-hmm. the movie. Yes. Um, yes. But uh, the movie begins, well, well, famously, it starts with the with in the, the 17th century. 1692. Yep. 
with a witch burning mm-hmm. that looks like it came right out of Mario Bava's Black Sunday. It, yeah, and it looks like, like this is what's happening on the other side of town. They're yeah. both, this is the other witch burning that's happening at the same time, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, well, what year? Who copied who? Right. They both came out in 1960. That's crazy. It was really in the air that year. <laughs> and no one else came out in 1960? <laughs> Psycho. Psycho yes. came out in 1960. What a good year for horror movies. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That mm-hmm. one we're going to have to come back to yes. in a little bit, but mm-hmm. uh, it, it's not an influence then. I mean, I don't yeah. know how right. it could have right. been. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, yeah. Unless they're all just working on stages next to each other. And like, what are you doing? Yeah. Same producers across yeah. all three of them or something, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Unless you guys Stealing can crank this thing other. out. Like, mm-hmm. well, I mean, here, I guess it did come out in 61. Mm-hmm. So you may have thought that, you know, it was the year after, but. Um, yeah, it came out in England in 60. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so there is a witch burning in, it's not Salem, Witchwood, mm-hmm. Whitewood, Whitewood. Whitewood, Massachusetts mm-hmm. in 1692. Mm-hmm. 1692. 19, 16, 1692. 92, thank yeah. you very wow. much. <laughs> and uh, Let him say his numbers. <laughs> and a witch named Elizabeth Selwyn mm-hmm. yes. is put to death. Yes. Uh, publicly. I mean, this mm-hmm. is what, this scene is done as well as, or, you know, this is like par for the course you've seen yep. this kind of thing yeah. before. Mm-hmm. Um, but she says she made a deal with Lucifer when she's being burned at the stake. Yeah. And she says that she calls upon him. Luther, Luther, was that his name? Jethro. 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 Je- I, I upgraded him. His name was Jethro? Yeah. Yes, yeah. His name was Jethro. Jethro. I it was Luther. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I don't, it's like some weird mind flip that that did on me. But yeah. Uh, and they look at him they're like, did you make a deal with devil too? And he's like, N- no, <laughs> and he like he even like nods like, his head nope, yes a her. little bit while he's saying it. Um, that's important for later to mm-hmm. know that they both. Um, it's literally yeah. like what? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. no, I would never do that. I would never do I am that. A yeah, <laughs> that guy who plays uh, Jethro. Yeah. His name is like Valentine Dial. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, right. and, that's uh, a name. Cool. And. I, when he talks, he has like a specific, uh, I don't know, vocal cadence mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. I'm like, he is Mr. Dudley in The Haunting. Yes. The original version mm. of The Haunting yes. of Hill House. He's the one who <laughs> warns her away from from going in there. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have our kind of classic, it's like one of them classic witch burning scenes. She makes the deal with the devil. Mm-hmm. Those lines were actually cut out of Horror Hotel. Really? They're, I think the, hmm. I think. You know, in the rating system, I don't know, was there the rating, rating system in 1960? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Yeah. But just the censors, then I guess, mm-hmm. you know, it was to actually hear someone uh, conjuring Lucifer was sacrilegious. Huh. I, don't know, I think just in code at that point. Mm-hmm. Like, probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they, they really cut that out, kind of. I think I like it, three lines of her, you know, like, so, oh, Lucifer, uh, we are sure. coming so down. I wonder yeah. if it's just more ambiguous as to whether she is a witch or not in that cut. Probably. Where you kind of figure it out later on and when she returns as a character. I'm not sure if they even, because there's one character I was like, how would you cut around this? Because I haven't seen Horror yeah. Hotel in so many so long. I was like, you know, I, I read that it was uh, removed from it. But there is a character who's like, she's putting a curse on us. A curse, you know? a curse, a curse, a curse, a curse. A curse. A curse. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. dude is standing in a crowd of people going, talk to Lucifer, talk to Lucifer. Yeah. It's like, is no one, yeah. like, you're right next to him. Can you not hear this man? Yeah. Yes, Lucifer. Yes, mm-hmm. help her. Mm-hmm. So what is she, uh, what is what is her curse? What does she uh, want to do? What do I'm <sighs> so the, she has a grip on this town in a sense that they have to make two virgin sacrifices a year to... I I lost it there. I'm not sure what what their motive was. It's it's for eternal life. Okay. Right. It's basically we're we're gonna live live forever and in exchange we'll kill we'll sacrifice two women, I assume. Is that in the clause? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was it was yeah, it was women specifically. But does she does it for does she do it for the town? Because I there's some townspeople who are just being like, burn her, burn her, which show up later, don't they? Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah they so all... So should you just make them all live forever? Yeah, and yeah. As you're like, this is your curse? Like, mm-hmm. you have to mm-hmm. live in this town mm-hmm. for the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, because I think which she... Which is funny, because she's like, I want to live forever, but I'm going to make you do it too. Yeah. 
Like for her, it's what she wants, mm-hmm. but it's also her curse. It's like a them. purgatory version of the yeah. Truman Show, man. We really all just is. gotta pretend to live our lives forever. You will live in a bank of fog for the rest of yeah. your life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the atmosphere. It looks like a cool little town. I <laughs> like, live there. It just follows there, you yeah. around like pig pen. You're yeah. Just like, <sighs> yeah, the atmosphere it's is very enough thick. for Michaela. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd live here. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> Michaela's just like, and yeah. the fog envelops her. And she can get away. Disappear. Well, the production she design. She just backs into it like Homer. Yeah, like Homer. Into the fog. Fog bank going. Yeah. I think it's going home. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, I assume that uh, uh, Whitewood is like right on the edge of uh, uh, the ocean. Or it must be. Oh, yeah, there's it's a foggy yeah. all the time. Something and daylight around. never oh, appears yeah. in this in this small no, house. The POV shots of them driving in this fog make me scared. Yeah. I, yeah. I, like you I are like, going too fast. Terrifying. And it's like. 60s movie making was not nearly as safe as it is now. No, you know, like, like, did they, I'm like, oh, did they God. invent seatbelts yet? I don't yeah, think they did. Right. <laughs> it wasn't a law that you had to wear them. Yeah. Ugh. Um, the town. So it's like the the I the way that the movie is mid 60s. What seatbelts? I think mm-hmm. so. I'll go with that. The way the movie's filmed is this is clearly all done on a sound stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which it's. Because you can tell the way that the fog r- lays, and mm-hmm. there's not yeah. a whole lot of lighting behind the building. And so the fact that there's like just one facade the entire movie, yeah, one yeah. corner of this town <laughs> yeah. that well, we only we see, see from one angle. Yeah. Do we see like across the street or what? There's like a square with the, like across the center. The street of, is being generous. Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't the, the yeah. center of town is like a graveyard? We, we, <laughs> yes. Yeah, we see. Yeah, the it's ang- also yeah. There's a circle graveyard in the middle, and then they a made a nice little square it. in the soundstage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we couldn't know because we have we have the church. The offshoot of the church where the bookstore is. Yeah. Yep. We Raven's Inn. Raven's Inn. The graveyard. The mm-hmm. graveyard. And th- that's, that's, that's it. And that's it. name that's me that's another it. building, yeah. I dare you. Uh, that that one in the back. No, I don't know. There was, <laughs> that's uh, it. Yeah. Um, like so she's it's, going up to the church. like, this, I bet this is a beautiful building. This is what it looked like 200 years ago. <laughs> yeah. It's not beautiful. Uh, this might be the most naive character we've seen on screen <laughs> yeah, in a but, long I mean, time. Yeah. Yeah. So who are we talking about? Nan Barlow. She, Nan Barlow. Yeah. She's who a college she? student. Did you forget her name? Yeah. <laughs> Nan, Nan Barlow. Barlow. Nan Barlow. They won't let you forget. Yeah. 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 So who is Nan Barlow and what is her, how does she end up in Whitewood? So she's a college student. Of Christopher Lee's, yeah. and she's like, witchcraft sounds dope. Where can I learn more? <laughs> yeah. I could write a really badass term paper on witchcraft if you let me. I want, um, I want Michaela to do some ADR for these. Like, witchcraft <laughs> sounds dope, yo, Christopher Lee. Yeah. <laughs> point at what, point, at what town yeah. should I go to yeah. to find out some more dope shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so around, she, fellow kids. she basically says she's going to move her vacation around a little bit so she can spend two weeks in Whitewood studying. And she's, I'm sorry, this girl is not understand. Writing two term papers is not like the Goonies. Like, she's like, I'm going to, what if I open a trunk and find a piece of it? And she's talking about how she's going to like yeah. open a trunk full of scarves and find something. Like, yeah, and she's like, literally like, I'm going to talk to all the descendants. I'm like, you think they know anything from 300 years yeah, ago? Yeah, exactly. No. And um, a key piece here is that she promises to be back for her cousin. And Susie's birthday. That's, in that's two important. Weeks. Weeks. Yeah. That's important. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I guess th- the idea is Christopher Lee is like a very serious uh, very professor serious. of he witchcraft. Take- is he history? <laughs> yeah, I don't he know. Will take offense if yeah. you if you criticize his uh, his area I have of study to and expertise. Assume he's history, but he also like. He's very specific and like, like this is a science. This is this is a science that we study. Right. Oh, because he compares that against this is like that kind of fifties, sixties uh, thing that you're going to have uh, always in these movies. That at some point, you know, somebody representing rational science. Yes. In this case, it's Nan's brother comes mm-hmm. in and like, but Dick. professor, <laughs> right? or yeah. yeah, Dick Barlow. Yeah. Yep. But everybody calls each other by their last names. I love yeah. that. We should bring that Barlow. back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Driscoll, it hasn't been practiced in many years, and there's no, you know, it's not real, you know. And, there's no headless horseman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same thing. Um, Nan has also got a boyfriend that's Tom. Uh, mm-hmm. Tom. Tom Maitland, yeah. Maitland is his Maitland, last name. Yeah. yeah. Is there a Harry in here? We could get the trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Dick. <laughs> Uh, and, and he's kind of a useless tool for for he rules the is. movie. So he makes fun of everything during. He's their useless study group until he and... is a tool of death. <laughs> yeah. At the end of this, yeah. <laughs> the end of this movie. Um, well, he's he very w- critical of everything she wants to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Why would you believe in this horse shit? Yeah. <laughs> Why does he take the class? He's in there with because her. his girlfriend's in the class. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Makes sense. He probably thought it'd be an easy blow off class too. Yeah. You know? right. Yeah. 
So intrigued by the tales of witchcraft so close to the university, Nan sets out on her journey, uh, much to the chagrin of the guys, basically, mm-hmm. right? They're very chagrined. Um, on the way, so this is like, you know, you're leaving the modern world and academia and heading off into the fog, apparently. And in the fog, there are figures just standing there, just hailing. Just standing around. Just standing there. I'm still not over the one dude that they just, as they're driving into the town, they just the headlights flash over mm-hmm. him and I'm just like we don't talk no about him ever yeah. again <laughs> there's also a ga- there. there's a gas station harbing- harbinger oh yeah, 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 yeah. is yeah. this like the is warning this one of the earliest like, instances yeah. of this is this the first warning people to stay away yeah. well there's always the guy at the end who says don't go to Castle yeah. Dracula yeah. you know okay. but mm-hmm. I suppose this yep. is the American version right. of that the right. gas station the attendant gas station who says right. yeah. you don't want to go because to Whitewood because yeah. what are you it is it's like where do you stop for directions where mm-hmm. do you stop at a gas station mm-hmm. yes the guy and then mm-hmm. someone decided like that's going to be the guy who's like don't go there <laughs> but we get to see him do his his little uh, cabin in the woods scenario mm-hmm. script three yep. times <laughs> yeah. three separate times right. we have this and one time for just some fucking jazzy ass music yeah, like, really yeah. Is. and this yeah. movie is like 75 minutes long so the fact that this guy gets this scene three times is kind of crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm okay yeah. with it. Yeah. Why are you going to Whitewood? Nobody goes to Whitewood except yeah. you three people yeah. all in like yeah. the same week. Going to Whitewood these days. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the the guy in the fog, uh, she stops to pick him up because mm-hmm. uh, people back then were people much, much more trusting of people uh, standing in the fog. She didn't even think about it. She's like, yeah, of course. Of Why course. wouldn't she's I? Pretty, so naive. Yeah. She's so naive. a good, uh, good person. Here's a person. Fellow look traveler. What happened to her. Yeah. Yeah. Look what it got her. <laughs> yep. Um, so I think, I don't know, the, the, uh, the urban legend of the phantom hitchhiker, right? Yeah. It's been around, it seems like since Forever. there was mm-hmm. cars mm-hmm. and maybe before that, yeah. oh, trains. Like, no, is there like a carriage, like a horse and buggy hitchhiker? Right. Oh, yeah. Movie? yeah. There's a, <gasps> we saw a strange man holding a lantern in the distance. And we no, saw. I want like the hitcher, but in a horse and buggy. That's what I want. Yeah. Like I'm taking yeah. over this now, so bitch. <laughs> like you should copyright. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the first the hitcher. The first <laughs> That's what it would be. Hitcher, yeah. or, hitcher, hitcher origin. origin. Hitcher begins. <laughs> yes. Oh, they would do that. Yeah. Hitcher first hitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we recognize this guy. This is uh, clearly this is Jethro from uh, yes. the the opening of the movie, right? So he's still alive somehow. Yes. In the 1960s. And when she arrives there, because I'm going to the Ravens Inn also. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, me too. I will be resting there. I will there. be resting yeah. there. Yes. <laughs> All portents and red flags, and the poor girl doesn't recognize any doesn't of these. Doesn't see a damn one. No. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, even when she's quoting them right to the people, and they're just like, "Oh, this happened to me." <laughs> yeah, she's even still a little nonplussed about the stabbed bird too. Right. She's even so, like, huh, "Oh, interesting." Didn't I just read about that? Hmm. I know she didn't. Yeah, it's like it's, a reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even cross her mind. Yeah. The, the sign, you know, that they've chosen someone from a, for a, a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It looks that, like they take something personal of yours. Unrelated. Have you seen my locket? <laughs> <laughs> right. It seems to have been taken from me, and it was very personal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I have this giant medallion necklace that will blind you all. <laughs> it's so right. big. I'm wearing it's, a manhole cover around my neck. Yeah, it's seriously like the coin in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, it is. yeah Aztec gold. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> it's very large. I liked your necklace, though. It was very, uh, yeah. I don't know. It looked the like locket? A, no, the necklace. Mm-hmm. Oh, the medallion. The big no, no, no. Oh, no. the choker. Oh, the choker. oh yeah, Sorry, that one choker, was really yeah. cool. Yeah, when she first cool. got to the yeah. hotel. Yeah. 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 That was a cool necklace. Um, so she arrives at the hotel to begin her research project. She's mm-hmm. going to uncover all this stuff about witchcraft that the people of the, of the town don't know anything about. <laughs> yes. You probably don't know anything about it, even though you've <laughs> Do you know anything about witchcraft? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> what? Oh, okay, and her room is gotta be the worst room in this place right it's right off the lobby it's not, it's, it's, it's not welcoming it opens into the lot like it's like yeah. she might as well be staying I in mean, the lobby to be fair the witch was like I don't have any rooms for you mm-hmm. and then she was like but I know this professor she's like oh, Driscoll right, said well, I, I wouldn't I, have to wait I do have this for later uh, yeah. so she was already hesitant she was like I don't want to give you that room no one yeah. should stay there yeah, but then she's like well bedroom. okay since you're the sacrifice like, oh you're the sacrifice <laughs> right this way yep. yeah don't mind the trap door in your yeah. room. Nothing yes. to see here. Don't mind the singing chanting you hear from it either. Right, yeah. Any noises from mm-hmm. below you. It's fine. Yeah. No. I know there's a lot of uh, 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 portent 
and dread. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is. I mean, basically, it's it your seems second like time using portent in the last <laughs> ten minutes. Port well, I mean, it's I a, like it. A movie I of mean. portent, at least for the first half hour, first forty five minutes of the. <laughs> I was sitting there watching it, going, "Okay, clearly we know that." You know, she's walking into, yes. right. but she yeah. doesn't know it. Right. And I'm like, okay, so I guess okay, that kind of should. Yeah, she should. Is that how we're? Well, we're, she's reading all the clues before they happen like, to her, and she's like laughing, and she's like, ha, dumb bitch. Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, like, that's gonna be you. Yeah, like this is a really creepy fucking town, and everyone's yeah. staring at her, and everything's foggy. Like there are so right. many. Right, when red it flags. is foggy, hundred percent of the time, right. don't stay in that. Town. And like, the sunlight never, never, daytime never no. happens. And she already heard from the harbinger that she shouldn't go to the town like there's not just many people go that way red flags <laughs> right off the bat mm -hmm. all over the place um i think the there's a sign the, in the the hitchhiker she picked up disappears yeah <laughs> come yeah. on yeah, sea paper, I yeah. Saw the car. yeah red yeah. flag yeah yeah, well, you're saying everybody stops, or everybody stares at her, but they literally do like they there's do. these people wandering around the village mm -hmm. that just stop and stare yep. mm -hmm. and they never move from that place nope. right. again the next time you open the door of the place you just went in they're still in the exact mm -hmm. same spot oh yeah it reminds me of like the the um the wax village in uh um uh, House of Wax, like the 2005 oh, yeah. House yeah, yeah, of yeah. Wax, like mm -hmm. when they show up mm -hmm. in the thing, yep. and everyone's just there, like, ah, oh, yeah, the priest <laughs> in the thing. It's mm -hmm. just like, ah. It's very creepy. Mm -hmm. Very creepy. Yep. The uh, woman who runs the inn, mm -hmm. um, we recognize sure. as well, that's. The witch. The, the witch. witch. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so she has been reincarnated or still alive or something mm -hmm. to that effect. And mm -hmm. so witchcraft is clearly still going on. Mm -hmm. Jethro is hanging well, and out. Her name is Mrs. Newless. Which might be another name backwards. It's, yeah. it's, it's a slight, it's a slight <laughs> yeah. reconfiguration. Yes. There's a few letters it's, that are it's, it's, different. An, it's the Alucard to her Dracula. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. 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 New, probably, newless Selwyn. Nothing yeah. beats Alucard. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nothing beats Alucard and like uh, Dracula 1972, where he's just like. Mm -hmm. Fuck! Like he's <laughs> like it's exactly backwards. Yeah. <laughs> he's drawing lines and yeah. shit and doing math. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not even a Tom Riddle situation. No, it's just backwards. No, it's, it's just, just backwards. backwards. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, who who else uh, does she meet in this town? Who? Because I mean, it can't be a city of. She the dead. goes to the church mm -hmm. and meets the priest, who is like. Your who, typical crazy old right. man blind priest that's just right. yelling who lives in darkness, shit. both in blindness and the fact that he just retreats into darkness. Yes, I know. I love that. It's very dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I would love to retreat into darkness in the middle of a conversation with someone. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. This is the place to do it. Either the fog or the darkness. You got plenty right. of Something opportunities to just disappear. Mm -hmm. so. Right, but she is. I mean, she's scared at that point, and then she does see the people who have stopped in the middle of town to stare at her, mm -hmm. and then she runs off into mm -hmm. the uh, the building that's attached to the church. Which is uh, kind of an antique, antique and book, shop, yeah, yeah, and yeah, bookstore run by I didn't catch her Patricia, name. Pat. Patricia Pat. Yeah. yeah, she's like uh, she's like a she's normal, normal person, yeah, right? yeah. and she's, she's like her there, age too. Right. Yeah. yeah, she's only been there for a few weeks because her grandmother died. Yes, mm -hmm. her grandfather is the priest who's in the thing, mm -hmm. but her grandmother died, so she's like, I'm going through everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're saying there are real people in this town. A couple, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I think there was uh, there was a line of dialogue that might have explained it. Like grandfather always told me that the people on certain nights of the year shut themselves in their houses and the dead walk the yeah. street. Right. Uh -huh. And I don't know like how we read that at the time, but later on it's like, oh, okay, so all these folks that we've been seeing. <laughs> She's throughout describing the movie. Halloween. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, um, but. Uh, Patricia is uh, like, oh, yeah, I have this helpful book that you're looking for, the treaties on witchcraft in New England, mm -hmm. yep. you know, um, where Nan finds out like all the details about candle mass, which takes place mm -hmm. on February the 1st, which yes. is why we're yeah. just coming up. Oh, my this, God, Tom, is that why you picked this? Uh, no, but oh. uh, how lucky sure, take is credit that? For that? It yeah. works <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. That's not why I picked you it. Everyone, yes. everyone, yeah. everyone, did you bring anything personal that is <laughs> now missing? Let's, let's check for it. Oh, God, uh, let's not open any drawers. There might be dead birds in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what's with the... What's going on with so like why a dead bird and what was it a binding uh, uh, a sprig of a sprig of wood, woodbine woodbine yeah on yeah. your door yeah it's somehow to say that you've woodbine. been marked for yeah for the sacrifice do yeah, yeah. I don't know why you this is necessary but it is 
It's like painting the blood over the, yeah. the threshold or something like yeah. that. You mark them. At least now I know how big a sprig but, is. But don't. Is why time. do you want to alert <laughs> your big, sacrifice? Pretty big. <laughs> bit bigger than I thought it would be. A sprig I would have thought was smaller. Why do you want to alert your sacrifice to being sacrificed, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, why well, do you, unless why you're, do you reading, do unless you're reading a book that tells obvious. you that these are warning signs, are they, maybe are, you don't notice. Are they, I think just, that, are they flagging the devil? That's how he knows. Oh, yeah. maybe. Oh, they're 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 like painting their target so that the yeah. devil knows. Focus gotcha. on her. It's this one, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Her. This yeah. one, definitely her. <laughs> Dad's <laughs> saying a bird with the like Ranch. needle through. It's pretty. Like, she should have opened a door and it should have hit her in the face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, she still wouldn't have gotten no, it. This, this no, girl would not. No, it's raining. But dead she birds. is. Uh, That's you know, three dead birds in two days. Yeah, she's so focused on her studies that she yeah studying the, in uh, a full corset under a house coat. This was wonderful. Yeah, that's how she studies. <laughs> <laughs> Most uncomfortable outfit uh, I could imagine. Right, with like with, with the with stockings. Yeah, the, tat, the, the garter tat, belts, garters, and garters, garters to keep yeah. them up and everything. I know. I'm like, is this what you sleep in? No, oh, yeah. no, no. no. So can't even breathe. But yeah. she changed into a into okay. a house coat. No, she. I mean, Holly. No, yeah. described it. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Holly explained. You don't understand. No. Uh, so shapewear yeah. is the devil's <laughs> garment, yes. right? It's, it's very. Uh, it's yes. the worst it makes, thing ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But sometimes we wear it under fancy things, and it's not worth taking and off if really, you know you're gonna. Do, you have to use really it. Really hard later. to take on and yeah. off. Yeah. Really hard. So I guarantee that she was like, "Well, I'm gonna take my dress off." But I might go out later, mm-hmm. so I'm just going to put my house coat on. Because okay. I, yeah. yeah. All right. That makes sense. Because yeah. there yeah. is a soiree that's happening yeah. in the lobby <laughs> right You know how when you get home, bedroom. like you want to take off your like work clothes or whatever, and you want to put on comfortable clothes? Yeah. yeah. It's the same concept, but she's like, I might go out again, but I'm not going to yeah. take this off. It'll take forever to get yeah. back into it. Yeah. So just house coat. Yeah. There have been many nights where I'm just like, I can't take my bra off now. I'm going out <laughs> later. So just... Dude, you don't understand. Once it's off, you are staying. <laughs> oh, no, no. I know. Back. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, but like sometimes trust court, me, I was, I was to leave. Like, yeah, yeah, but I you're a boy, so I didn't yeah. think you pay attention. Sometimes corsets to take two people to put on. So yes. like yeah, well, if she's if be, she's you gotta zip them yeah. up the back. You gotta get well, food on the back. Not all of them have zippers, yeah. some of them lace up. up. Yeah. You lace them up. Yeah. Right, right. And sometimes that takes two people. So yeah. It does. Yeah. So that was still a thing in the nineteen sixties that we're saying a full okay. Well still a thing. Have you seen Mad Men? Uh, yes. They, um, they oh, definitely talk yeah, about okay. undergarments on yeah. that. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, was going to say, there is, a, there is an episode where uh, Miss Draper is wearing something very much like mm-hmm. what yeah. she's wearing in this under the house coat and everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, is she also that's listening to jazz? There's a lot of jazz music in this uh, movie, which is kind of like uh, against the tone of it. Yeah, it feels very very much. at certain points, it it's is, very but, against the tone. It is, but, you know, 1960. <laughs> yeah, they were being cutting edge and like very were, hip. Well, yeah, I think they were trying to do like montage, but not quite figuring it <laughs> yes. out. But just like a snappy song is great, but like the cutting was just <laughs> they, not there. They thought it was moving the pace faster, right. but it didn't. Yeah. Right, they because they didn't montage it. Right, yeah. because they were like, we're doing a process where multiple people are going to go yeah. through the harbinger. So we got to make it feel like, oh, he's But it's like, funny because watching it, you're like, this works, but not in the way you want it to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, Oh yeah, the the, the soiree that's happening. Mm. I don't even know if it's like, soiree. It's like, it's like but, four but, okay. couples spinning in circles. The very by a the most lower level basic meaning of soiree is what we're applying <laughs> to this. Four it's couples who are, who are party. spinning each other yeah. in a in a very small hotel lobby. Yeah, yeah. it's very weird mm-hmm. uh, yeah. to say the least because uh, I think she hears that they change the music at some point. She's in there studying, and yep. she's like, "I'll go check this out." And when she does. Nobody's there. Mm-hmm. Gone. It's very spooky. Mm-hmm. Um, but she hears some uh, 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 beautiful singing. Mm, uh, from the from, floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Mrs. Uh, Newless. Newless has yes. told her that no, there's nothing, there's no cellar the down there. We, Just we, the pipes. Yep. Yeah, we the pipes. Yeah, they you sing. Know pipe sing. Mm-hmm. Classic landlord excuse. Oh, yeah. It's just the just the pipes. Don't yeah, it's, not a, it's, not a, yeah. it's not a glitch. It's a benefit. Yeah, yeah. What do you call a uh, like a, 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 a song to Satan? I don't know. Because it, it's, it's not a song chant. to God is a yeah. hymn. Yeah. So a song to Satan it's, would be it's uh, just a satanic hymn. Is yeah. it a satanic, satanic hymn? hymn? Yeah, yeah there we go. So. But it didn't we sound should, we should, like. We should figure out a name yes. for yeah. it. It's better. An is the best one Ave Satani? It's the Omen. 
That one's pretty Probably. good. Probably. Mm, yeah. That's the only yeah. one maybe that I know. So I'm comparing this one to The Omen. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. It's like, I don't have much experience. There's with a lot of Titanic. Latin. In- no, you didn't really, you didn't have that, because the pendulum swings one way. You didn't have the pendulum swing the, yeah. the real no, direct yeah. opposite and go Satan for a little bit. You didn't no, do that? No, but fun fact. <laughs> um, Ooh, yes, please. When we had the um, uh, Chicken Wire Hell, oh, when we had yeah. the haunted house, we had a room that was like a bunch of like satanic monks chanting oh. and we used the chant from indiana jones <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah very nice uh, t- temple from... of doom oh like yeah. cover your heart yeah, yeah the mm-hmm. kali ma thing yeah. really oh okay That's the cha- they oh. like they like changed the tone so yeah. it didn't sound like it uh, they did oh. it more like oh like a hymn kind of song uh, but yeah sound more Jesus-y. they used because oh. You know, they didn't want it to be like actually. They did, right. They didn't want it to be <laughs> yeah. close because God forbid. Yeah. yeah. Copyright lawyers. Lawyers are the devil's spot. <laughs> They'll come after you. Um, no, they just didn't want to summon anything. Uh, right. <laughs> no, that's no, that's it. No, yeah. no legality. Yeah, nothing legal. They just no, didn't want to. They just want to. Didn't want to actually yeah. get uh, the devil. See, yeah. that's why they cut the lines out of the beginning of this movie. They're afraid of uh, we're summoning still a, something. A pious country at that point. Yep. So, good old man uh, investigates, uh, as you should, not Mm -hmm. probably the basement, the cellar. She opens. I love this stuff. So many spider webs. Yeah, it's a cavernous. Like, no, I'd have a five foot stick clearing shit out before I went down that. Yeah, into the dank, dark cellar. Mm. And there she is grabbed by uh, Mm -hmm. a bunch of hooded cult members. Mm -hmm. And this is happening quick earlier on in the movie. So we're like, oh, oh, we're we're getting on a thing here. We're, We're going through it. We're getting quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, because she actually sees them all cloaked, like walking to the. She does, and she yeah, still yeah. decides They're to investigate. The yeah, yeah, just all a bunch clo- of hooded figures. The black cloaks chanting as they walk, and she's nothing. like, "Huh? Yeah. Well, it's mass time. <laughs> like yeah. nothing." Well, somebody did. Oh, she said, "You know, where did where did all the 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 people from the soiree, the revelers, go? Mm-hmm. Service. They went to service tonight. Right. You know." Mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. well, in Whitewood, we do things, you know, differently. Mm-hmm. There's services. Candle for... Mass Eve. Yep. Yes. Right, Candle and, Mass Eve. Uh, I love that their calendar says Candle Mass Eve. It's like, rare. as big as the date on the calendar. <laughs> really, really so does. there are these custom calendars just for this little <laughs> Who printed them? Yeah. yeah, they printed them themselves. They're the own newspaper calendars. Office. Candle Mass oh, yeah, because yeah. you make one for every home uh, in the, within the yeah. village so that so they remember. It's like the, it's like the local realtor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like Century 21. Because if it's like a secret. Yeah. thing you're not gonna like you know this isn't a nationally sold calendar that has right. candle mass eve on it oh i'm gonna look for it now there yeah. might be now yeah. yeah um yeah some like some a- calendar that's got all the old dates and traditions written into it and it's like <laughs> we, have, we, we have we have easter we also have candle mass eve yeah. Yeah. it's like, like oh the bank of whitewood when you open an account you can <laughs> yeah. get a calendar oh, the bank, bank of whitewood <laughs> yes <laughs> I know that's what we're missing, right? They, yeah. they didn't have the the the. I suppose there wasn't like a restaurant or the the doctor's a office or uh, yeah, the yeah. tavern. Oh, yeah, I bet this I is a so. dry village. Area. Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. Oh, that's what they're saying this? Don't they? We don't see to, any drinking though. Do or we? they do it all in the woods? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, around a fire uh, in the woods. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, nah, so with the, jugs with X's on it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were the party people. Um. So this this that's a newer thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think maybe that, not so back in the what, old days. What they're gonna have a witch's Sabbath? I mean, what? Yeah. What is? I mean, I agree. They I know, should. We just be. don't see any of it. Or it's the witch's like, Sabbath. Yeah. Sorry, right, that should be. But I mean, that should have been the title of the movie, right? Witch's Witch Sabbath. Sabbath. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Again, any title. Any yeah. title, but yeah. it would be better. The City of the Dead. Okay, so she wanders down into the basement and is grabbed and is then surprisingly. Sacrifice mm-hmm. to the devil. What? Yep. <laughs> and like cut uh, to cake. Best cut. <laughs> that is a great cut. Cut to cake. <laughs> yeah. We so love a good cut. This is surprise. This is why we were talking about Psycho earlier because I can't think of another movie at that point in time. Like Psycho was revolutionary. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, because it. Well, I mean, hopefully you've seen Psycho. It's a, it's a classic. Yeah, so I'm sixty spoil some it. years old yeah. now. I, I yeah. do wonder when we get into the new people who are just who like, haven't what seen is Psycho? it. Well, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right. Uh, so if you haven't seen Your it, your kid yeah. probably hasn't because it's an old movie yep. yeah. and doesn't know. But yeah. that's yeah. the thing; like, uh, it's right. all new to them. They don't know the twists. And you show it to oh. them, and it's so I first mean, that time is the they go nice thing. Yeah, awesome. But also, but you got to get the interest going into it first, and that's hard enough. Yeah. Well. Uh, to spoil Psycho for you, mm-hmm. this movie also jettisons its leading lady midway through the movie, and you're yeah. like, what? 
what? Yep. Mm-hmm. So that was surprising. And this is all of a sudden where when I was first watching this, I woke up. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just like, I dug the atmosphere and all that. But you're like, okay, I kind of get yeah. what's going on here. Right. But all of a sudden, you're like killing the lead yeah. girl. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wait, what? And that always kind of throws you for that, like, well, then what's the movie about? What are we going to do? Mm-hmm. So then it becomes about her brother and uh, boyfriend. her boyfriend yes. <laughs> going, wait, whatever happened to Nan? And we have to retrain her stuff. Two weeks later. <laughs> two we weeks later. What weeks. happened to Nan? It's been two weeks. Oh, and it's because weeks. she didn't show up to the birthday party. So and everyone's right. like, she would never be late to the birthday party. Right. She's never if late. If that hadn't happened, would they have noticed Nan was gone? No. no. And this honestly, Eventually, like, how I mean, yeah. Yeah. She didn't show up to class or something. Just like, well, a month later. But but they just didn't, they didn't even take it seriously because the boyfriend's like, she's missing and I'm concerned we should we should call the cops yeah. and her brother's like seriously yeah like yes but this is why so many people got murdered back then because you let a stranger ride could. in your car and you're gone for two weeks with no way of people like keeping tabs on you right like they have to just call the hotel and hope yeah. she's there right and, and it's like and if no not, wonder like, well i guess she so left much. the state it's like what yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, that was an explanation for a lot of things back right. then. well I the explanation is right it's like uh the next morning uh, her bags were or her bags were still there her no, car was gone, gone. Or everything yeah, everything was, was gone. gone. Everything was gone. We don't know where she yeah, went. The bed hadn't been slept Another in. red flag. They call the they call the uh, the hotel, and it doesn't exist. Dun, yep. dun, dun. Yeah. Red flag. Yep. Yes. But Christopher Lee sent her there, right? Because it turns yeah. out that his family is from Whitewood. Who would have guessed Christopher Lee is there and present in a hood for mm-hmm. the sacrifice? So he chose her and sent her to yeah. her I really wanted death. him to be Satan. I wanted him I get to be that. the devil. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe a little more of a transformation. Like later that would have been such a fun twist at the end if yeah. he had just been the devil. Well, there is like a uh, revelation about him at the end. His name is written on a uh, yeah, headstone, I know. Yeah. so it turns out <laughs> he, he was, was burned, burned for witchcraft. Yep. yep, he was also a witch back in the day. Mm-hmm. So now we have a brand new cast of characters. Well, I mean, basically protagonists because. Um, Patricia, Mm -hmm. the bookstore owner, Mm -hmm. travels back to the university to meet up with the two guys and is like, well, I, you know, I'm trying to. She's really invested in this lady she met like three weeks ago. Yeah. She's like really invested. That's because there's like eight Mm -hmm. people in this town. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you're one of the normal ones. Yeah. She was like the only other normal person's missing and I'm a little worried. Yeah. 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 Nobody ever. You're right. Nobody ever goes like, well, maybe something bad happened to her. You know, it's always like, I, I can't imagine what would she would be doing right you know <laughs> so silly woman what didn't, didn't somebody say silly woman or no that was maybe oh, the, I, think the that was, I think that was us awesome. well, no it was all the silly women were getting uh, burned at the stake oh, yeah. oh, silly, and, right. and he silly does say like silly they're, women. you know silly yeah. old women getting burned yeah yeah, yeah that was it and, and didn't was it maybe it was dick said like oh those were just a bunch of old women with hysteria or something like that there was a line something. thrown in about them oh, he, all just being he was, he was yeah. talking about the they were victims yeah. of hysteria and yeah. all that mm-hmm. so they the trio I take it seriously just a bunch of silly old women yeah the trio heads back to whitewood mm-hmm. right now yeah. in pursuit of to find out retrace but in separate cars but it, yeah yeah which is weird yeah, we, don't all know, three yeah we don't know why the boyfriend tom has decided like to secretly, secretly follow the brother dick the brother. Yeah. There, there's no reason for it yeah. none yeah. whatsoever who is following patricia correct uh yeah. who of course sees the spectral hitchhiker mm-hmm. And picks him up again, mm-hmm. and again he disappears. There's the whole, it's like history repeating itself. Right. We had to stop mm-hmm. at the Harbinger gas mm-hmm. station, uh, the mm-hmm. Phantom Hitchhiker. So then we're like, is Has, Patricia uh, being like uh, targeted? Mm-hmm. Is, 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 is it been a this, year have already? Have we done this for the gas station? It's just called Harbinger Gas. Yeah. Yeah. Harbinger yeah. Gas. Has it been, it should be. Yes. Uh, but thanks yeah, to Colin, Cabin in the Woods. That's a great point, though. Like at this point, you start thinking, wait a second. You said these sacrifices are twice a year, so they're. Three, three weeks apart like you're sac- yeah. you have sacrifice yeah. season and then it's over yeah. for a year yeah, like basically we got to get it like all every in six before months. the crops go bad yeah mm-hmm. yeah this is uh cuz the, the witch's sabbath is being held and we got to kill the other one on yes. the witch's sabbath is but apparently with the uh mm-hmm. the witch's yeah, it really it's the christmas new year's double hit yeah. of the year really basically but yeah. satanic sacrifices right, yeah, yes exactly yeah. Well, what do the this is that uh, week in between where all the witches don't do anything? Yeah, like, I'm, not, well, I'm not. Well, I'm not conjuring anything <laughs> yeah, today. It's, <laughs> it's pointless. Nobody's here. That's why they were dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have nothing else to do. Right? Yeah. I think uh, Christopher Lee has a moment, which is uh, it's a private moment for the character that we get to see, which is just like if you didn't get that he was present at the 
the, Which I the did sacrifice. not. I missed him at the first sacrifice. Oh, okay. You said he was there. I missed it. Really? Yeah, he was in like, hand. Yeah. Yeah, I missed the, the, seeing him in a hood. I saw yeah. a bunch of other people. I'm just like, they're from the first one. I didn't see him. Oh, so that's yeah. why they did this scene. Then. Yes. Mm-hmm. It is to basically underscore that, like, mm-hmm. okay, he's in on it. Yeah. Because otherwise we may not have known that. But he sacrifices a bird or something mm-hmm. like that. Or stabs a, mouse a bird. Or stabs a bird while wearing a cloak in a darkened apartment. <laughs> and then has to clean it all up because somebody comes to the door. And he's got a really cool fountain. Yeah. You got, oh, yeah. yeah. It's Real like cool. it, it yeah. looks like those outdoor like stone like lion face fountains that yeah. are built into a wall. It's, but he has a button he pushes and then it's like a sink. Holly, yeah. it's it's no mac, but if you could wash your hands in him. Yeah. Olmec. Yeah. Olmec. Yeah. It's Olmec. There it is. Yeah. It is Olmec. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's great. Good luck. Decor. We're also we need to bring back uh like alcoves. Yes. With uh you know, yes. alcoves. Huh? I'm sorry. That was a, that was a, that was a in Bruges reference. Oh, like, Alcoves use this term. Oh. Alcoves. Oh. Yeah, right. We don't use curtains <laughs> the that. right way in yeah. our houses anymore. I this want a little thing. altar alcove where I can right. do my little satanic <laughs> yeah. things and then I mean, some, over But there's still it. some you, good. You can the, have that, Michaela. Yeah, I, I you know. just have to make it. Yeah, you do. But in some of the old apartments around mm-hmm. in the neighborhood, I live in, they still have little alcoves. Yes. where they would like this is where your phone used to go. I love the phone. Love those alcove or like I love those. Those are so yeah, great. Curtains yeah. over them? Uh, uh, you could, but where would were... you put a curtain, like right now in your house, like just over a, over like a, a hallway, and mm-hmm. then like people wouldn't know it was there. It looks like a wall, and you're like, mm-hmm. "What's going on behind that curtain?" Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you don't. I would do there. a curtain. I would absolutely do a bookcase in a hidden room. Yeah, those are. Did you know you can buy those as like kits, and they're really cheap. Actually, you can do like that. a six hundred dollar one and install yeah. it yourself, dude. It's. Colin, like, all right, you're giving. Yeah, Colin. Colin. <laughs> if he can yeah. hook it up to Alexa. <laughs> it's Alexa, bought. open it's the secret now. room. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, she heard me. Okay. And she's Alexa, going stop. Alexa, Colin. Alexa, Colin. stop. <laughs> it, it, right, you have uh, an entrance to your I, movie I was, room. There needs to be something right I was like, there. Do it in your movie room. You're right. That yeah. whole area needs yeah. a curtain. Sorry, you can't see them. this at home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Home Depot sells those doors. Or a curtain rod and. Right? Oh, yeah. Put a fucking bookcase. hacks on book that you're totally, yeah. totally unrelated, but uh, the bot over there reminded me. Does your <laughs> does your phone ever randomly agree with you? Mm-hmm. In what way? Okay. Because literally the other day I was talking to somebody and my phone just suddenly was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it scared Wait, okay. the shit out of Who me. Who do you have as Expand. your virtual assistant? Is this witchcraft that you're talking my, about right yeah. now? My virtual assistant is the British dude. I call him Perry. Uh, okay. <laughs> On the Apple variety of... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. and he agrees with uh, He agreed with me. Uh, yeah, he was like, listening to my conversation and he literally was just like, mm-hmm. You, you ever get a, scared, quite right. Yeah. Scared <laughs> the get one of those? out of me. Oh, my God. Anyway, sorry. Do you ever get them where they're, they're like indifferent? They're like, mm. Mm, you mine, one of those? Like, mm. mine will just randomly be like, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that out of nowhere. And I'm like, I wasn't, what did you hear? Yeah. See, I turned angry. I was like, hear? I wasn't talking to you, bitch. Yeah. See, that doesn't scare me as much. The fact that he just agrees with me. <laughs> I, I wish he'd Coming speak soon. up. I wish he'd yeah, speak you up and be like, you're just like, fair point. Like, what? <laughs> well, I wish he'd speak up and be like, mm, might want to rethink that one. <laughs> like, give me advice, be helpful. <laughs> Soon, Holly. Yeah. Soon, yeah. Probably in be like people, three months. These will be just things in your house. Where yeah. Yeah. You, you will should see Megan if you have not seen it already. Yeah. <laughs> we will worship them. Yeah. Mark my words. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the, uh, um, Nan. No, she's gone. No, Nan. Patricia. Yes. Patricia and the two blokes. Yep. Uh, one of yep. whom is disabled in a fiery car wreck. Yeah, Tom. Truly. He climbs up the top of his car. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. instead of seeing the ghost of, or instead of seeing Jethro, he sees the ghost of the burning witch. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Which and crashes him. into a tree and. In a very TV. <laughs> in a very TV monitor shaped. Uh, 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 vision. Yeah. He sees it, yes. And he, like, this guy definitely is really, really severely concussed oh, on top of a, a bunch whole, of other like, injuries. Yeah, just, he's got a, and, a gash across like, his Just keep that in mind when we talk about what he does for the rest of like, this movie. Like, if he wasn't but... already useless, yeah, in well, this movie. He I just... like the, uh, the, there's a scene, I don't know that I'd seen it before, I'm sure I have, but, like, it's stuck out in this, like, usually you get the, uh, the guy carrying... The girl, you know, who's been, but in this movie, you get the guy <laughs> carrying the other it's guy. It's awesome, and I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it was it's good. a nice, those gender a nice norms. Dutch angle. Yeah, where it was he's just so unexpected. Yeah, yes. it was. 
Yeah, like that guy had back problems later in life, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so those were fun. Um, There's yeah, a romance going on between the brother and the boyfriend for sure. Yeah, yeah, he's got to keep him keep him going. Yeah, I think they. I are... mean, they have more chemistry than with Nan. <laughs> yeah, so it makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's something going on with Patricia and uh, the brother. I think at some point, because uh, it's like, you there know. There is interest. Mm-hmm. And she is abducted, I believe, right? Does that happen? How does it happen? Well, we see yeah. she has the bird in the sprig and then yeah. doesn't she's, a hand grab her? Yeah, because she's like, um, oh, yeah, she, she, makes her, she makes her dad some coffee. Yep. Right, right, right. And, and she's like, I'm going to get you a spoon. And she goes to open the drawer and there's a dead bird. And he's like, check the front door. <laughs> yeah. Check the front door. <laughs> and there it is. There's a branch nailed to her is door. There's a sprig of wood by in there. <laughs> there she, happens to be. Yeah. Because apparently people know trees that well around there. She's just like, it's a sprig of woodbine. Like, uh. just immediately knows what it is. And he knows what it is. Yeah. Because everybody, he, he's old enough to know that, like, that's the witch's right. the rituals. We have to leave immediately. Yes. Yep. But unfortunately, the, the car has been down. disabled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As it always is. I like that she just opens the hood and she's like, they ruined the car. I'm like, is there even an they engine? They don't even no, show no, us. No, yeah. No, no, no. You just got to trust her. And yep. she looks at it for a second before she's like, Oh, they ruined it. And then just like puts that hood back down. Yeah. Oh, well, that's wow. right. She, They've drained the oil. <laughs> she goes back to call uh, uh, Tom, yeah. right? Yeah. And on the phone, he hears, he hears her, her being scream. abducted. Yeah. And so we're off. He's got to go try and find out where she is. I think the way that he discovers this is uh, he goes back to make a phone call and hears the chanting coming mm-hmm. from the room in the inn. Yeah. And so... Uh, Right? Did he go down there? Into he did. The, yeah, because yeah. he found. We didn't even talk about Lottie. Oh wow, oh, Lottie. 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 Lottie! Lottie! So Lottie the is mute. the mute, mute girl, like servant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, she's why referred they, to as a servant. Right. But why do yeah. they trust Lottie? Like they, Be, they as, as evil talk. people, they shouldn't though, because she appear, well, apparently at every turn she is trying to tell people what the fuck is going well, on. At one point, but maybe there's at one point the witch tells her she says, you know. You disobey me. You know what will happen. Yes. And so like, clearly right. there's a threat against her life. Right. And I'm guessing there hasn't been a lot of visitors here who aren't in on the whole deal where mm-hmm. she could tell them. So when right. she does get new people, she's just like, oh, oh get out. Get Here's out now. My shot. Yeah. Well, my question then is for Lottie, right? Because a lot of these... Like we're saying, that this is a this is a village of the dead. All these specters that we're city seeing in the city of the dead, they're all townspeople who were cursed or are they also witches because Lottie seems to be I got from that line of dialogue it's like the only reason that you're alive is basically because of my power the witch mm-hmm. says and basically if you keep doing this I banish you and you know what that means like mm-hmm. there's no coming back mm-hmm. you're gone so like Lottie is in the you know not necessarily so helping the, out but she's one of the ancestral ones like when they cursed the group to be alive forever like you even got the people the good ones which would be lottie is what, is what you're saying like it, 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 so there are no ancestors it's just side. these are the these people are just who, the people that yeah, were, cursed, were there yeah good and bad okay and lottie is one of the people that's just like she got cursed as well but she doesn't agree with all this satan shit that's going on she's just kind of dealing with her circumstances yeah trying to warn people <laughs> that's probably why she got her tongue cut out mm-hmm. I, I would guess so yes yeah like in the first, first step yeah but uh anyway they they kill her they kill lottie and uh and, <laughs> anyway she's gone and if when uh, yeah. when tom goes down into the uh the the dank dark basement he finds her face he touches yeah. her face and doesn't was, know it yeah oh like, uh, yeah um gross. he also he also gets attacked by a rubber spider Oh, that was awesome. Wonderful, that was wonderful, wonderful. Maybe my favorite moment. <laughs> it just dangles down in front of yeah. the camera. Yep. And Little, ah. Rubber legs it wiggling. Just, it yep. couldn't look more like a party <laughs> store yeah. spider. Yep. It was wonderful. Loved it. So there was a scene where uh, it seems that the same ritual is about to take place. And uh, this time Patricia's on the altar mm-hmm. and all the robed, you know, uh, devil worshipers are all standing around. Um they have to kill you on the strike of the 13th, 13th hour, hour. Yep. Right, which yeah. all the bells in this town apparently ring 13. Uh, they get out of that pretty easy. There's a back door, and they just go up the oh, back, the back stairs. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, oh, well. Well, the front door is the, the trap door in, in the room. You can't go through there. Yeah, I know, but like, yeah. why, why have a 
<laughs> like this seems like a, a fault in the Satanist plane here to have such an easy exit <laughs> right. out right. of here. Yeah, you know? to have that very yeah. open staircase. Yeah, yeah that's, even though they vaulted the other door, they put yeah. that big thing over the other right, door. Yeah, but the staircase is, a, is wide yeah, open. Yeah, a, uh, a, a full-on stone slab that goes up and down that yeah. allows you entrance and exit from this certain yes. area. That is that, purely motion detected. R- right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to have that much guarded and then just have an open staircase exit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little right like, next to this like sacrificial slab. Right. Like, what are you doing? You, yeah. I guess it is the easy uh, easy entrance for you know all your witches when you come <laughs> yes. down. But they never thought it would be used the other yeah. way <laughs> for escape. Yeah, how did they get out of that? Now that I'm trying to remember he, it. Like he, he just basically like yeah. punched somebody. Oh, yeah, he shot! Pushed, no, he brought the gun. He brought yeah. the gun. Because yeah. I mean, he, he keeps the gun in there. Yeah. No, it, well, it okay. didn't work at Christopher no. Lee, and then he right. threw he the gun, and it. they started pushing him. Yeah. Yeah. Because these people, literal people, whatever they are, <laughs> they literally just don't know what to do to mm-hmm. bide time until the thirteenth hour. Yeah. Yeah. They literally just stand around and be like, "Well, it's not time yet." Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, they weren't even waiting for the clock to strike at that Not point. Not at that they point, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. They're just kind of like chilling and like killing time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they don't know what to do. Yeah. Just stand yeah. around. They really, and they don't know what to do under a uh, uh, threat of cross. They don't know. They're, no. they're not. They're not prepared. It, it, it's like they've been they've been doing this for so long that they haven't been interrupted, encumbered by like, an well, outside force where they're yeah. just like, when they when they meet it, they're just like. They're just uh, like, well, fuck, no one's ever fought back No before. one's done this before. Is that because this is the first one of, quote unquote, the modern era? I don't know if that's like going on, because the whole, like, when Christopher Lee, like when you look back at like all the stuff that he's saying to Nan mm. to send her there, yeah. right? It's all like, well, you should go and check it out and blah, blah, blah. But then her brother comes in and he's like, Ugh. and you can just see his face like, oh, this is going to fuck up my life. Yep. And later, exactly. they, like, there just keeps on being the people coming to the house and they're like, but we're looking for Nan. He's like, damn it. I knew this was going to be more trouble. This is the modern day. And I have to deal with, with the but modern day. A- it's just like people who will actually look for the relatives yeah. that have yeah. been missing. Yeah. Yeah. There are a couple of moments that they allude to him sending students there previously. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So I'm thinking. Thinking this has happened before. Oh no! This but, feels like the, 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 the this is the system. Yeah, right. This, this is the system, the dis- this is the distribution system. This is that the gets system, there, yes. but nobody's questioning why his student goes missing every semester. Yeah. Right. Like, the makes, witchcraft right, professor. This is like the student. first one. He's like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Two of them. Two. Yeah. He's gonna yeah. kill two. Yeah. 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 It's like it's the damnedest thing. But spring semester every year, <laughs> yeah. we lose two girls. <laughs> right. I mean, but thing. we wouldn't. Uh, I, I guess you wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't make a movie about the times where it went unnoticed. You'd make a movie about the time. <laughs> well, that it does. That the conflict happens, and so the first time that they run into this problem, that's where you make the movie. Yeah. So they're totally unprepared. These yes. cultists for this, yes. and uh, so eventually the action climaxes in the graveyard where they are going to pull off the at uh, the thirteenth hour. Yeah, there's another slab you can sacrifice yes. people on where they brought. But people you got to have it back. Mm-hmm. Of course, of yeah. course. The location of Site B, yes. Yeah. And, well, at least they were we're saying they were taken off guard. At least they had a, a Site B, you know? They were. <laughs> they were they right. also had a backup knife, if you can call it that. Oh, that was great. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, that this, knife. This, like, little, like, pocket knife almost comes that into frame. Really just it's whips out, yeah. like... Just staring at the camera's like, use this. Yes. Like a fucking greaser. Like, yeah. Yes, that's what it was. That's what it was. You're exactly right. They have this like beautiful, like opal dagger. Yeah. And <laughs> right, that gets taken right. away. It's like, don't like, worry. Like, this will work. Yeah. I got it. Uh, this is also a warning for you people. If you ever walk into a cemetery of any kind and there is a slab of any sort, stay away. Don't be there. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, Especially it's if it's stains tomb. or something. There's lots of cemeteries yeah. with tombs. Well, I know, but this, was, this was like a table, oh, like a stone table. Like yeah, uh, there's lots time. of those. I'll stay away from them. But, okay, yeah. but the, oh, that's what I'm saying. Don't go there. Yeah. Like, don't be in there. Well, what happens to the uh, the first, the first, the ceremonial dagger? How come they can't use that? It is thrown at Tom's yeah. back. <laughs> Tom was yeah. just getting, he's, he's just getting shit at me. No, it wasn't Tom. That was the, the boyfriend. No, it was t- Tom's, Tom's the boyfriend. Oh, Tom's the boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, identifying people wrong. Dick, the Dick is her brother. Okay. Tom's oh, the boyfriend. Okay, yeah. 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 And Harry, we have yeah. yet to meet. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so Tom can cuss bleeding all over the place. <laughs> Somehow really, summons yeah, just the useless. Energy. He should useless be paralyzed from, from yeah, this dagger really, to, yeah. this, to the spine. Yeah, he's going for the cross because there is, I forgot who mentioned it, the shadow of the cross. The blind priest as he was dying from shock. The shadow Dead. of the yes, yeah. he goes the shadow of the cross. Yeah, 
And so that that is what is being yelled at Tom mm-hmm. as he, as he his injured ass is getting over there. Yeah. This giant cross is in the cemetery. He gets a, that dagger in the back mm-hmm. and he's down. Yeah. But then he does resurrect himself and yeah. he grabs it. He is like a a, a zombie at this point. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is where we get the most yeah, zombie ish portions of it. Yeah, you it, you want it to be heroic, like you want it to be like Boromir at the end of Fellowship, sure, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. not. No, he's just like and you just like where going. do you get this strength, man? Because you have been in a car crash, you're severely <laughs> concussed, and <laughs> probably die. You he have a knife. Saving- Get through the whole movie. Yeah. I guess so. But he's able to pick up this giant cross, and mm-hmm. when the shadow hits the Satanists it at this sh- point. It's like a Roman candle. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's like it shoots fire at them and they yeah. burst into flames. It's this, great. This made it's me wonderful. nervous, too. Oh, my God. What, oh, were yeah. the, what were the fire suits like in the 60s yeah. for actors know. to wear? And what oh were they God. hitting them with? with yeah, it, you know, it looked like, like Roman candles or flare guns yeah. or something. Yeah. And it yeah. sticks once it hits them. But yeah, yeah it's... Sh- yeah, no, right it's, the- it's real good. Yeah. He lights a lot of dudes on fire. Yeah. The power of Christ compels them. This is why they're all burns and everything, because that's yeah. what's going to burn. Yep. Hopefully mm-hmm. you cut before that and gets yeah. through it. And even then, the uh, cultists have no real recourse against this, because they're no. like, uh, they're just- quick, take him. Yeah. You know, just standing there. Oh, wait for thirteen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes, you have to wait for the thirteenth time because we're going to kill her at the. Yep. Um, but thank God, Tom, the boyfriend. Burns them all. I mean, it's not as um, uh, dramatic, maybe, as a bunch of melting. Melting, uh, no. Yeah, it's like cool. in the Devil's Reign. Yeah. But yeah, no, it is yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I, 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 I dug that. Yeah. They all burst into, into flame, except oh, for the witch. Into flame. Yeah. I, but do you remember she Christopher away, Lee yeah. burning? Yeah. You see it, but yeah. it's yeah. so fast. It's really fast. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, my hand's on fire. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, right. It's super fast. Um, the, ri- the witch runs away. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah she bolts. And so they go, we have unfit. Oh, I like that. It's like, Tom, Tom. And he's like, ah, I'm dead. And they're like, <laughs> he really was. And they were like, ah, it's fine. I must run. Yeah. Yeah. We got unfinished business with this witch. So they run back to the hotel, the horror mm-hmm. hotel. And uh, there she is sitting in a chair, uh, much behind like the, behind the counter. Mrs. Mm-hmm. Bates mm-hmm. at yeah. the end of Psycho. And uh, they unmask her. And it turns out, <clears throat> shock. She's all burned. She like the burn somehow witch. the magic is worn off. Yes. Yes. you know, basically mm-hmm. the pact with Lucifer they, yes, has they ended. Didn't do the stabbing at yeah. the thirteenth chime, yep. yeah. and it's done. Mm-hmm. They didn't, or they weren't able to sacrifice the their broken. second virgin. Yep. yep, spell's broken. Yep, it's all over. Credits. It's done. That's it. Yeah, we are out of here. And get out. Yeah. The end. Yeah, her yeah. demise was in the same spot where she met it in the first place. Yep. Yeah, right Great. there, right yeah. under the Beautiful. black. Mm-hmm. I know, You're done, and that's, that's it. The movie ends that quickly. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of it and whether you should watch it. But first of all, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor, to read some of your mail. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. You think he's been to Whitewood? Thanks, bro. I think he's from Whitewood. Yeah, you yeah. think so? Yeah, yeah. he appeared he, in a uh, sorcerer's cloak. <laughs> mm-hmm. He he lived in that cavern under the trap door. Yeah, yes. well, well, he lives like in a cavern under my trap. <laughs> been many places, just collecting parts. Yeah, parts of him are at least from Whitewood, yes, if not all exactly. of them. But he may have been resurrected there a few times, yeah. for all we know. Mm-hmm. You know, like the curse ended for everyone else. He did not for Igor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Igor's still alive. He's just still going. He's the one putting the pins has, in the birds. That's right, his job. But he has mm-hmm. multiple curses. So one where one would lift and someone would yeah. die because they of just, the they curse. They just cancel yeah. each he other has, out. Right, he's got yeah. another curse that keeps him Is going. Is he the most yeah. cursed person to ever I, walk I would the think face so. of this mm-hmm. planet. I would think each so. part of him is a different curse. Yeah. Yeah. Until this biography comes out. I know there's going to be a book about He's like those sampler chocolate trays of curses. It's like, pick one. They're all we had a little road map to uh, which body parts have which curses. Yeah. <laughs> um, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on threads and Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, wants to know Hello. that we have inducted someone oh. to the hallway okay. of fame okay. adjacent to the Wall of Fame. Right. And that would be Ted Carroll. And you're like, yeah, Ted. Ted's finally made it because he was Good an job, uncredited Ted. Coven member. Is it a Coven? Coven member in <laughs> City of the Dead. Okay. Oh, we did get uh, a number 
for a coven, which I did not know. It's what is it, thirteen, 13. or more? Oh, like, okay. so, yeah, yeah, cool. Which, thirteen, obviously, yeah, yeah, makes sense. But like, I didn't know that before. I was so. surprised. Candle Mass Eve wasn't February thirteenth. Yeah. Why, uh, why is it the first? Yeah, yeah but Google is, this. But yeah. The, they is they mentioned candle, they, real they say two weeks, so maybe but maybe they were off mm. on their math. Yeah. But maybe the thirteenth was like the witches. Um, Sabbath. Is the the second it? was sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, the second gotcha. sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, I like there. this. I like yeah. It. yeah, I like it too. Yeah. Captain Google's on the case, and we're going to have an answer for you <laughs> soon. But uh, Ted Carroll, uh, who's about to get a certificate from us, was also the Scarborough Sailor in the 1979 Dracula, which we watched, okay. and he was Biro uh, in Flash Gordon. Uh, okay. Yeah, you remember these? You remember Deep Ted? Uh, sure. Hall, yeah, hallway. Yeah, hallway. Okay, hallway. Uh, about Super tonight's cool. movie, City of the Dead. Nelson Nascimento writes in and says, "Beautiful cinematography and atmosphere." Plus Christopher Lee. Not sure what they were aiming at with the title. It has more of a kinship to Bava's Black Sunday to me than either title suggests, and yeah. I dig this one quite a bit. Uh, really Michael does, Whitaker yeah. says it's the only movie I've ever seen to accurately portray what a young, somewhat conservative woman wears to lounge around her spooky hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> somewhat conservative. He says, I'm also pretty sure most of this movie's budget went to fog machine rentals. It oh, certainly yes, has. Seriously. Some, definitely. It has some cheesy moments that can make it very fun to watch, but it makes an even be- better episode of Rift Tracks, and I highly recommend watching it that way. Is so it so an yeah, 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 it is. It. Oh. It's a pretty good one. Is it? I was yeah, this yeah. doesn't seem extremely enough to be on Rift Tracks, but I mean... So, well, you guys but, were having a good time at some of the moments. Oh, yeah. Moments like, oh, like, yeah. I oh, yeah. Think There's some, it's, it's a very fun, but funny Rift movie Rift Tracks to watch. really thrives with movies that have a lot of talking, because sure. they fill the gaps then right. while it's just mm. like... Well, Holly, what was the, like, Christopher Lee was like, what do you mean? Like, he did a little thing that just had us, like, giggling pretty much. Oh, right? yeah. Re- <laughs> just Christopher Lee's <laughs> reaction to a question. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's, the, he's there was a part very, where he was very, very he was being very coy. <laughs> right, yeah, he was being very coy in it while well, he was having a drink, and it was just very funny. <laughs> the part that always gets me, that I always get stuck on, is when Patricia goes back to talk to Tom and Dick, and, and she's done. She goes, okay, well, I'll be going now. My grandfather can't be left alone. He's blind. He's blind. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then he la- walks out of the scene. It's, it's like a, it, that feels like it's from the room the way it's like said and delivered right, like right, he's, right, blind, he's blind like, like, uh, and you're just like well what's he been well, doing yeah. for the past 20 years and like, he feels like he's been blind for a long yeah. time it's very oh hi doggy yeah exactly yeah. Hey, I definitely have breast cancer as that energy yeah, that is blind. yeah. yeah he's yeah. definitely blind yeah. <laughs> um, last week we watched a movie called Invasion of the Body Snatchers R.J. Skarenki writes in and says, this is the most overplayed one on TV during Halloween. This is so overrated. It's not that great of an adaptation. Oh, okay. Oh, see, I'm face. not, uh, I don't, uh, is it, what I, channel I, has it on TV? I was going to say, I don't have, whatever channels you want, yeah. I don't have them, so mm-hmm. I don't get that saturation. So. I wonder what, yeah, I wonder That's what channel's sad. showing it. Yeah, do they play this a lot? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I'm not in that. Mm-hmm. We all liked it. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it was good. I like it. Uh, Mark Harrison says, after you've seen Donald Sutherland naked and don't look now, you can never not see it when looking in his face. I, yeah, that movie mm. is something. Oh, okay. It's, mm. it's a weird movie. It is a weird don't movie. now? What's yeah, you never seen, it's like a, it's a, regarded as a stone cold classic. Mm-hmm. I don't wouldn't like go that, that far. I didn't, yeah. Yeah, I didn't like it that much. <laughs> no, I didn't either. Okay. But it is highly regarded yeah. by like, cr- right. in critical circles. I'll everywhere. do some research. Um, it's a good movie though. It is, you know. It's got, it's got um, <laughs> Joey Blythe says, I was watching this movie, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, for the first 30 minutes, wondering where Kiefer was, and then I realized it was a Donald Sutherland movie. <laughs> Donald, a Donald Sutherland. Uh, this is 78, so Kiefer was 12. And speaking of Monk, oh. we must have we talked about Monk on that Yeah, because he's, yeah, he's yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, Mark, yeah. All right. Well, he he's, says, he's married to... Um, uh, Brooke, Brooke Adams? Brooke? Oh, who's in the movie. Yeah. That's yeah. how we got there. Yeah. 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 Um, but he, uh, Joey says, speaking of Monk, when my son was maybe three or four, we had a lot of movies and box sets of TV shows, and he would either want to watch Spider-Man, SpongeBob, Blues, Clues, or Bunk. <laughs> I, I mean, love kids that get weirdly attached to, <laughs> to adult to, figures, yeah. and adult yeah, TV shows. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Monk is very childlike in certain aspects within the show, so yeah. maybe that is uh, relatable. Like to. Did, wasn't there like a, oh my God, there was like an Instagram reel going around a while ago about like, it was like a news interview with some seven-year-old girl that was like obsessed with like Michael Bolton or something. To oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Who it was, was it? It wasn't Michael Bolton. Who it was, was um, it? Oh, shit. It yeah. was so fucking funny. It was the most random It was some fucking... adult contemporary artist that you're just like, and so the seven-year-old girl was like almost in tears, like she would Michael be a boy McDonald? band about 
Am yeah. I, it was it Michael McDonald? Yes. Yes. It was. It was. Michael <laughs> McDonald. Yes. I know. When she found out that he was like an older man, she was so disappointed. Oh, I yeah. Think, all right. I may have seen oh, we this. We gotta find this. But like, that's the that's the energy. Yeah. It was really yeah. funny. Right. You yeah. never know what they're gonna get attached to. Yeah. Like, but I but I, li- I love that's what I love about kids because they have no shame about it. No, they're just like I exactly. like this thing, and yeah. it's like that's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I connect to Michael McDonald. Yes. <laughs> Does, didn't she say? I remember the video. She's like all like like whimpering. She's like he has the voice of an angel. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I, I remember this. Great. I gotta find this so video. Yeah. It's so yeah. fucking random. It feels like an SNL skit, but it's yeah, real but it's funny. real. It's so <laughs> kind of wholesome, but also really funny. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, Travis Legler says, hearing Michaela say she's not sure you guys could survive in San Francisco because of the hills and roads. I know you could. We live in the part of the country where during the right time of year, pavement will look dry, maybe even salted. You start to walk on it and then without warning, be free falling like a Tom Petty (laughs) song with no way to try and land without possible injury. If you can survive that, you can... Take those hills, and I have faith. True, that's, that's we, true. They do not have snow and ice to true. deal we with. We do with doubt the hills. ourselves, but I think just because if we went outside of our experiences as a Midwest town, we'd find we'd survive anywhere else pretty <laughs> easily. I've been to San Francisco, and I disagree, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the week before, we watched a movie called Ricky O. The story of uh, Ricky. Yes. Chili Morrison writes in and says, Chili. "I just watched him versus the warden, and now I have to watch it all." Oh, yeah. great yes. show as oh, usual. Yeah. Watch it all. I know. You, you, whoa, whoa. I know. I was tell, trying to tell my husband, I was like, you should really, because he likes yeah, movies like that. Yeah, how did you describe like this to him? And I said, I said, well, there's a scene where the um, warden eats a bunch of Mike and Ike's and Red Hots <laughs> and turns into he like does. Goro, his version of Goro. Yes. And I was like, what? and he literally like blows up, how like inflates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm yeah, so sad. Yeah, it was I fucking that. nuts. And that was yeah. the climax of the movie, yeah. so. Yeah, the, yeah. The, one yeah, of the most the violent movies like I've ever seen. Palpitations and physical health problems, and so they bring out the medicine, which yeah. is Mike and Ike's and yeah. Smarties and just gives candy. Yeah. <laughs> his son is like he, he's only, he's wearing is, a beanie with a spinner on it. He's not. Oh. He's but he should have been. been. Okay, yeah. it's that energy though. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he's a fun, and, yeah. It's and it's I just. Else. I, that movie was a lot. <laughs> uh, there was also an extensive VHS tape porn collection oh, on the yeah, wall, in the, in like the, hundreds in the of tapes. Deputy warden's office, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, a corrupt yeah. people. We people. can't post any of this stuff on. I know. <laughs> I had to post the most boring we shots can't. from that movie to yeah. try and like, no, you should watch it. Yeah. But I can't show you any of it. Uh, no, we don't want to go to Facebook get, jail. Yeah, yeah. Facebook it down. jail. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was uh, Ricky. Oh, the story of Ricky yeah. and about it. Uh, Andrew the Paulson Criterion Kirk channel. writes in and says, "You were wondering where the name Ricky O comes from, yes. and I believe that it only shows up in the English language dub, which I hear is even more ridiculous. But I'm glad <laughs> the Criterion Channel made it possible to watch this masterpiece. But sadly, there's no dub option on there. Uh, yeah, thank you, Criterion. Thank you, Criterion. Who but... also, while we were looking for that, we stumbled upon the cat channel yeah they have oh, a, cat, a curated has cat, the cat movie yes. collection yes right so cat people two great. evil eyes oh my god uh, sleepwalkers sleepwalkers is yeah. on the criteria yeah. channel <laughs> but there was also like that darn cat and <laughs> like <laughs> um, uh, inside llewellyn davis was yeah. on there but yeah there's, yeah. A, uh, it's, yeah. Uh, there's yeah. an orange cat who plays yeah. a prominent part in that yeah. movie yeah. yeah garfield was absent yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, what, it's not must, every what cat must movie. you think it's of the cur- Criterion it's Channel? It's a curated <laughs> were, were you expecting <laughs> just- Garfield? Uh, all right. Well, thank you, each of you, for yes. writing in. Yes, we really you. appreciate are it. Strays in there? No, they no, don't. They no. Don't. Oh, wow. I think it's only the. Th- I mean, it's obviously the only things they have licensing to okay, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. so it's not like a best of list. Was it's cat's just, eye in there? It feels like it was. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Inferno was in there yeah, too, yeah. right? Yeah, yep. that was in there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cat People, duh. One of my favorite yeah, movies was yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah. The 1942 yeah. Cat People. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah. Be specific. Two, <laughs> yes. Like we said, two evil eyes where Harvey Gattel probably murdered a cat yes. when he was drunk. Yep. Sure yep. looked that way. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Go back and listen to that episode. Find that. Yep. All right. Well, now we go around the table and tell you whether or not we share what we thought of the movie, starting with Holly. Hmm. Me. What did you think of tonight's movie? Uh, either Horror Hotel mm. or City of the Dead. It's not a good title. No, I don't like either title, no. but I like this movie. <laughs> this was a fun movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anytime you watch a movie uh, from certain time periods, that's always iffy if it's going to be boring or not. Mm-hmm. Truly, truly. You really got to, yeah. You just have to take that gamble. And this was not boring. Mm-hmm. This was a fun movie. It's a, it's a, it's a good clip and it's a short movie. Mm-hmm. All good things. It really helps. Um, yeah, I never lost interest. It's a fun time. 
Yeah, this was this was a good one. I don't really have any notes. No, we like, giggled a lot. Yeah, yeah, we giggled was, a lot, yeah, and yeah. I'm not surprised to know this was a Rift Tracks movie because mm-hmm. yeah, it was funny. It's it's so silly and fun, and I hate that that photo or that. Isn't that it the art. worst DVD artwork you've ever the seen? The one we have. It's a Blu-ray. Absolutely. It looks like it's a zombie movie. It There's looks like a Walking Dead comic book yeah. panel. Like it, it looks like they it just really does. does. One, yeah. and it has That's nothing not, to do with it. We watched it no, all. Not, but I saw the one before that was like Christopher Lee's head and the guy with the, cru- the cru- crucifix no, down yeah. in the corner. We need someone who does a contemporary art on Instagram mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. make a better... Michaela? Yeah. I'll make a good criterion one. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about this movie. It was fun. This yeah. is a fun time for sure. I definitely recommend it. I can see why you watch it every year. <laughs> so, Michaela, tell us what you thought. Yeah, I mean, I've seen this five or six times now. Um, I do watch it every year during spooky season because I think the a- atmosphere really makes me feel like how good, good atmosphere. Yeah. I'm surprised as we're reviewing this fog isn't billowing out of our mouths yes. as we talk about it. Um, and I actually f- we first came across this because I don't know if you guys remember, but when Elvira's 40th special on Hulu came out we on watched Shutter. on yeah. Shutter. we watched a little bit of it here after we did a episode and we caught the end of this movie oh. and i was very 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 high and just <laughs> su- got sucked into the movie and then i so, but we saw from her sacrifice on so we didn't have any context we didn't know it was like a janet lee situation mm, right, but um right. yeah seeing elvira host it i was like okay i gotta go back and watch it so then i watched it on my own and then i really loved it and then i was like i gotta see what colin thinks because i know colin's seen this movie yeah <laughs> um but what i love about the freak show in general is that i can come and I can say, Colin, what's a good 60s Satanist movie for me to watch? And you've got at least one, probably five. <laughs> at least one. Um, <laughs> and like you, you don't steer me wrong with that because you also recommended Burn, Burn Witch Burn, which oh, I watched. Yeah. Because yeah. I said I wanted more movies like this. Yeah. But like you said, Holly, unfortunately, a lot of them, like the yeah. poster will look the same, the vibe will look the same, but it'll be boring. Yeah. And like I need right. to sift through and just find the good one. So I always ask Colin, like, is this one good or is it boring? You know, I wish mm-hmm. I, you know. Um, you haven't steered me wrong yet. So. Um, but yeah, I want more of this exact type of movie with this exact Same. atmosphere. It's just, and like, yeah, this, it's like 75 minutes. It goes so fast. Perfect. Um, I feel like maybe I should start watching it February 1st though on candle. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Light yeah. Some candles. yeah. Tell Toby to look out. Yes. Put, put a sprig of woods buying on my front door. Right. Yeah. Yes. Fuck with him. Yeah. Fuck with him. It's like, yes. you're the version we're saying. <laughs> yeah. He's seen it like four or five times now too. And I think he only like half pays attention when we're watching it. But yeah, we so always, he'll be as clueless as the main character yes. when dead birds start showing exactly. up. Exactly. But he, yeah, he loves all the, like the, the, constant mention of Whitewood and Ann Barlow like all it's like they're trying to hit a word count it was, at times it's wild but no it's a really good time White Barlow and Nanwood <laughs> it's a good time the title is terrible the, any like mm-hmm. artwork you come across from this is probably not going to be accurate it's a witchcraft movie not a zombie movie mm-hmm. definitely recommend Sean what'd you think it is a surprisingly fun movie mm-hmm. like I said we giggle a lot during this movie uh, you really do have to like figure out like is this going to be a boring movie? Because, I mean, it is a movie from the 1960s. You take your chances with stuff like that mm-hmm. based on, like, where you are and what you watch now. Because, like, maybe if you're, like, consistently viewing contemporary movies, this may be a little slower boring for you. It was not. Uh, had a fun time with this movie. Again, the atmosphere is fantastic for this movie. Uh, there's so much fog. Oh my god! <laughs> but it's great. But but it's, like, terrifying fog. Because, again, there's a lot of driving shots where you're just like, these people are not being safe while they're driving through this fog, and they're picking up hitchhikers. Um, uh, yeah, just a lot of fun with this movie. Uh, whether you take it seriously or if you're just gonna like giggle at some of the reactions of these characters, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a good time. I was surprised by it. Uh, it helps that it was again 75 minutes short. Love that. Um, so yeah, this a uh, fun movie. I recommend it. Uh, I had a good time tonight. So, uh, Colin. Colin, what'd you think? Did, mm-hmm. you, did you like this movie? I did. I, I really liked it. Um, I saw it under the, the Horror Hotel title yes. years ago. I think it was like, maybe I got it on DVD, but the DVD that I had, it had like this, uh, I can't remember if it was Synapse or Elite maybe, put it out <laughs> back in the day. And the back of it was like uh, a biographical thing from the guy who had like oh. had found the movie and restored it, you know, and was like, here's how I found Horror Hotel. You know, he's like, like this is my moment. I'm going to tell yeah, you how, yeah, yeah. what I went through to get this. I saw this on TV and was like, what? <laughs> and I was trans, you know, ported by it and I had to track it down. 
um, and I kind of had that same experience. That's why it was great when like uh, Elvira kind of yeah. you know showcased. Them. I'm like, oh, people are gonna hear about this again. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm interested in the like the kind of anthropological landscape of where these movies come from and how you get like you know this collection of uh satanic 60s movies mm-hmm. i mean uh curse of the demon i would mm-hmm. recommend is uh like late 50s and another one for you mm-hmm. if i haven't recommended it already is a hammer film with christopher lee it's called the devil rides out you have and you know? that poster is so fucking cool i see that poster all the time in that movie i'm like i just need to watch it already yeah <laughs> It's uh, it was just kind of strange that there was something going on there. And it, wait in this, five minutes, in the, in, <laughs> and we'll bring it. <laughs> I, it's been on my list for a while. It just yeah. hasn't actually made it around. Um, but yeah, I think I it, it really is. This is a case where I think the title does a massive, massive dis. Both Agreed. titles, yeah, they're do, not good. Yeah, they haven't figured out how to market this. They haven't figured out. Uh, is that the one with Baphomet? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the yellow one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, such yeah. a cool poster. It is, yeah. Um, but uh, they, they're not selling the movie that it is. And I think, yeah. like, in a landscape where Psycho is heralded as, like, you know, a game changer kind of for a narrative upset, that this movie yeah. does and came out the same year and nobody seems to talk about it. Right. Um, you know, it's not as good a movie as Psycho. No, but uh, it seems like it, it, as far as bringing your audience in, with their expectations, in if you're looking at it from this year, from 1960, yeah. with, with what the audience would expect with what you get, it feels like it would be as disruptive as what Psycho was. Right. Yeah. I, like okay, I feel like thing. I feel like this is a six sense stir of echo situation, right? Uh, so, so Psycho is the one everybody remembers, but, but, the, the, but the, the better solid. one is the one everyone <laughs> forgets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they were go. too similar and they came out at the same time. Yeah, so. there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's got, um, yeah, I think, uh, as you guys were talking about, it's the atmosphere is so thick. This has got the most fog of any movie other than <laughs> The Fog, right? <laughs> Even then. Yeah, But it's, it's just close. this cool, creepy little, and I guess when I saw it first, I was, you know, you watch it by yourself, and it kind of does, it's a little more funny when we're watching it, mm-hmm. and it's probably so it lends itself to a, a riff tracks kind of thing. When I was watching it, I was taking it seriously, and I'm like, there's, you know, some interesting, I don't know, maybe the writing, but the plotting is uh you know like better than average it was i was surprised by it it kept my interest and uh i like these uh you know whatever there's the 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 devil is still Mm -hmm. with us here in the modern Mm -hmm. age and yeah somehow i'm gonna write a book on this once i figure out how it connects to like whatever was going on in the 1960s but i would recommend that you would check out City of the Dead yep. by any title that it's uh, under, mm-hmm. it is definitely probably then. I don't even know if it's overlooked. I was going to say it's overlooked. Everybody saw it as Horror Hotel for years, for years. Mm-hmm. But if you haven't heard of it, hadn't seen it, seek it out. City seek of the out. Dead. Find it. It's good. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. And it's got Christopher Lee doing an American yeah. accent. Yeah. So you Freak show proof. I was like, can you know what that means? Yep. You have to watch it. Yeah, that's right. Contractually it obligated right. Yep. by listening to Otherwise the show. You will be sacrificed <laughs> on the 13th chime. On the 13th Mancini, hours, yeah. on, 13th yeah, month. On, the, on the Witch's Sabbath. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Coming soon. Speaking of coming soon, mm. next week we're going to watch a movie <laughs> that's chosen by... <laughs> Sean! <laughs> Sean, what are we watching next week? We're getting into the holiday season. What holiday? A heartfelt holiday. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Which one are we watching? What? We'll be watching 2009's... Oh, okay. My Bloody Valentine. In 3D. If it's possible. It is. Then we will be fucking <laughs> watching right. My Bloody Valentine in 3D. Hell yeah. I am so okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like scrolling through my mind of all the Valentine's movies that we have not covered. Because I'm like, where's where's he getting this from? We've got done them all. Like, I was like, we did Valentine. Right. We did we the original done, My Bloody Valentine. We have done the other one. Yeah. So My Bloody Valentine. My Bloody Valentine 3D. All right. 3D. Awesome. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Get your uh, 3D glasses Get ready. ready. Mm-hmm. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. But in 3D.